This new Solar 3.0 Hunter build lets you become a true PvE god. You literally cannot die even in those master activities whilst underpowered. You'll be chaining between your abilities to continuously keep Radiant and Restoration active with almost a 100% uptime in most activity types, meaning you'll have increased DPS, constant health regen, damage resistance and a lot more. With this build you'll be able to survive a lot of damage that you really shouldn't be surviving and the fact that we're playing a master activity whilst underpowered with the attrition modifier active just shows how good this build really is and how easy it is to control. The best part about this build is that you can be a terrible player in PvE but it won't matter because as long as you're getting kills every now and again you'll always have your health regenerating so quickly that ads just can't deal enough damage to keep up with the health regen. Now before we get into the build video let's first check out our sponsor for today. So we are sponsored by NordVPN. You want to keep your Guardian safe online? So do I. Now the digital world of gaming is continuously growing and because of that, the threat of losing your privacy also grows. But thanks to NordVPN, you can forget about the worry of hackers, your internet providers and anyone else who may want to attempt to steal your personal data. Because with NordVPN, you'll be protecting yourself online with the best encryption out there while hiding your IP address as Nord creates a virtual location for our devices, which you can choose from over 60 different countries. It doesn't matter if you're using a computer, a mobile or even a laptop, you'll be protected regardless of the device you're using with the VPN on. It's also beneficial for location based restrictions on specific content, so if you can't watch your favourite TV show because you're not from that region, then it's just a simple click for you to be virtually located to the country of your choice, which will bypass restricted content. NordVPN also has other features like threat protection, this will benefit you by giving you the extra protection against malicious websites and infected files, but more importantly, it'll do the job for you. All you have to do is turn it on with a simple click and feel the power of browsing the web safely. So if this is something that you want to try out, which I strongly recommend you do, then you can get my exclusive NordVPN deal here with a huge discount on a two year plan and one month free by going to nordvpn.com forward slash divide and try it out risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. So be sure to check them out down below. Okay, now getting back into the build video, I do want to first point out, like always, that if you do like these build videos and you want to see more like this, then you can find the full playlist linked down below or in the top right card section. But for this build today, we do have a new Solar 3.0 Hunter build that just makes endgame PvE 10 times easier. Because the way you'll use this build in any activity is first use your dodge ability to get the restoration and radiant effects. Once you've done that, you'll use your solar weapons to get a final blow and that will increase the restoration effect while spawning a void elemental well and upon picking up that well you'll get damage resistance and then you'll use your knife while radiant to get a final blow ideally a critical hit which will refund the knife and class ability while spawning a solar elemental well and then picking up that solar well will give you a weapon dps increase to your solar weapons from here you can either chain between the abilities in easier content or use the buffs to make harder content easier in harder content you might struggle to get the final blow with the knife so perhaps it's worth investing into your mobility stat to get your class ability quicker for those times where you either Either miss with a knife or you don't get a final blow with it. But regardless, as long as you keep getting kills every 10 seconds or so after using your dodge, you should always have restoration active to keep regen and health. Honestly guys, there is just so much going on, but you should always be buffed when playing. Now we are going to be using the Celestial Nighthawk Exotic with the Golden Gun, so you will be able to do some serious damage to bosses and champions in most activities. And I know Blade Barrage is pretty cracked right now in PvE, so you can also use that if you want to. But for this build, I wanted to make use of the Golden Gun with the Solar 3.0 subclass update for the Hunter. So getting into the full actual setup of this build, the very first thing you're going to want is to make sure you have a solar energy weapon. Now taking this into end game, you'll want a good solar scout rifle so you can stun unstoppables or a good solar SMG or auto rifle to stun overloads. For this build, I'm going with the Vision of Confluence, which has a Firefly perk, really effective for helping with ad clear, but you don't have to use this, but basing this on a master loss sector with unstoppables and barriers, I will be using this scout to stop unstoppables, a solar linear fusion for DPS and an arbalist to stun the barriers. Other exotics you can use are Prometheus Lens, use that mostly for fun in easier content. A Jotun could be worth using, Ariana's Vow, great for barriers as well, Sunshot, good for ad clearing, Taraba is another choice as well as Tiku's Divination and Tommy's Matchbook is also another choice, considering we'll always have that health regen, so it's definitely worth giving it a chance. Your heavy choices are Galley and Sleeper and the exotic armor we're going to be using is going to be the Celestial Nighthawk, but you can use whatever you want really, 
but for this build we are going to be using the one shot Goldie. Just make sure when you finish the build up that you've got yourself a 100 stat resilience for the 40% damage reduction. That's something you really want in endgame PvE, so prioritise this over every other stat, even if you decide to max out mobility or strength for the abilities. So for this subclass we are going to be using the Hunter's Solo 3.0 Golden Gun, the Marksman's one to be specific, and you can use the Blade Barrage if you want, although this won't be buffed by our Radiant effect. The dodge we're going to be using is the new one here, where we become Radiant when we use our dodge, and then we'll run a throwing knife where position final blows with the knife will recharge our class ability. And usually our class would recharge our knife, but instead our aspect will do that job now, which is knock him down. This will improve our golden gun super, and getting final blows with the knife while radiant will recharge our knife. And as long as you get a crit shot with that knife, you'll get your dodge back as well. We're also running gunpowder gamble, so we can charge and use an explosive. Just try and not kill yourself with this thing by thinking you're throwing down a healing grenade like I do all the time, but the fragments we got. Ember of Imperium, Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extended duration of Restoration and Radiant. You 100% want this fragment on, but the second fragment is Ember of Solace, where those Radiant and Restoration effects apply to us will have increased duration. Again, you might want to keep this one on so that you don't have issues with running out of time when killing adds in things like a Master or Grandmaster Nightfall. And then we also have the Ember of Benevolence, where applying Restoration, Cure or Radiant increases your ability cooldowns. I'd keep this on in endgame PvE, but in easier content, you can swap this one out. The exotic we're running is the Celestial Nighthawk, where you turn your Golden Gun into one single shot. Of course, if you're not using the Golden Gun, then you don't want to use this. But moving to the mod, starting with the helmet, we have Elemental Ornaments, where Combatant Weapon Final Blows matching your subclass has a chance to spawn a Solar Elemental Well. We'll also use a Harmonic Cypher mod with this, and then our Ammo Finder for our Special and Heavy Weapons. In the arms, we have Font of Might to increase our Solar Weapons DPS by 25%, which will happen when we pick up Solar Elemental Wells. On top of this, we have our Champion mod, or mods, that you might want to slot on. And then in the chest, we have Melee Wellmaker to help spawn in those Solar Wells with our Knife, along with our Damage resist mods for more survivability. Leg armor, we have Reaping Wellmaker to spawn a Void Well when using our dodge and then getting a kill, along with our scavenger mod for our weapon. And then lastly in the class, we have Well of Tenacity to reduce the damage we take when picking up those Void Wells. One of the best element of Well mods in the game, so make sure you 100% slot this on. But we do also have Classy Restoration. This mod you will need on to make the build the most effective, as it will start Restoration when we use that dodge ability. Now this build has to be one of the best solo builds in the game right now for the Hunter, that you can use in all types of content. The best part about this build is that you constantly get that health regen even when ads are shooting at you, as long as you're basically shooting them back and killing them, which I'd assume you'd be doing anyway. But guys, that about concludes the video for this new Hunter solo build for the new Solo 3.0 subclass update in Destiny 2 Witch Queen Season of the Haunted. Next as always, be sure to check out the playlist below for more top, fun and insane builds this season for 2022, because I do make videos like this every week here on the channel, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in that next video.